still the same topic, but what we're going to talk about is an instantaneous center. OK, so within a rigid body. Under. Translation. And rotation. Okay. There exists a or an instantaneous center which we will call IC in which the velocity is equal to zero. Okay, so the keyword, uh, what sort of velocity we're talking about linear velocity that is equal to what is equal to uh, zero. Okay, so our sketch on how where this uh, location of I will call it IC, okay? So when you see IC from now on, it's known as instantaneous axis, okay? So one way, so the location of instantaneous uh, center is a graphical and geometrical or graphical and physical process. Not so much math is involved. The math that's involved is really, really straightforward and it's very easy, okay? So for example, if this is the path of our centroid, for example, a weird shape, okay? So this line over here, represents our centroid and over here is our point a right and this point a right travels a circular path so this is our circular path And we know there is a linear velocity. Okay, so for example, this whole thing is in, so I'm going to draw in green, right? This whole thing is our rigid body. So everything is enclosed in our rigid body. Okay, so at this point, the tangential direction over here, this is what we call VA, velocity at point A, okay? So see what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the same vector arrow. So VA is a vector, okay? I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. Uh, to apologize, okay? And then I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees. Okay, I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees. So this orientation, okay, and I'm going to draw, now, now I know the angle. I'm going to draw a line in green. Okay, the line in green, okay, is related to the velocity vector. Hey, what did I do now? Oh, I did nothing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the red line. So we know that this is 90 degrees. Hey, we know that this is 90 degrees now. And the point where it intersects, okay, 
This is known as our instantaneous center. And the velocity of the instantaneous center is equal to what? Zero when time is equal to T1. Now, what does this mean, time equal to T1? When the time change, listen, when the time change, the instantaneous center can change. Are we clear? Okay. So the instantaneous center is at that time, the velocity at a certain point where it intersect the centroid is equal to what? Zero. Okay. So this is method number one. Okay, so this is method number one to determine the location of the instantaneous center. Okay, so altogether there are three methods. Okay, so this is method number one. Okay, now don't don't as I say, it's nothing difficult. Okay, later on when we use this technique to solve complex problem, you will love it. I hope that you will love it. Okay, you're like, whoa, this is amazingly powerful. Now, another, so I'll, I'll write method number one down here. Okay, so method number one. Now, method number two. Is we have two points. Okay, I, I, I beg your pardon. This distance over here is what we call uh, RA stroke IC. So the radius of RA IC, okay, from IC is the base, A is where you are interested. Now, another way of finding the instantaneous uh, center is now we have two points. Okay, one point here and another point over here okay so this is our point a and this is our point b okay and point a the path that is moving so for example if this is the path a curved path and point b there's another curved path over here so from here we can sketch okay we can sketch the velocity vector okay so for example for this case it's coming down here this is your va then another one over here right and this is your what vb so you do the same thing I'm going to use a green line and I'm going to sketch the line now. Okay. So this is again a green Eugene. Come on. Okay. So I'm going to sketch a line. Okay. And the other one, I have to relate to the what? I have to relate to where the 90 degrees is. So you have to, you can use your protractor, okay, to do this. Okay, so we just rotate this by 90 degrees. Okay, and then you put it here, and I will start sketching my green line. Okay. So what you see now, Okay, what you see now is when the two 90, so these are all 90 degrees as you can see, still the same thing. Okay. And at this point where they intersect, this is your instantaneous center. So this is the, the, green, the green line is R, radius I C, and then the one that's tilted is R B I C. Okay. 
So again, your velocity of your instantaneous center is equal to zero. And then this whole thing again is covered, or this entire body is now also our rigid body. The, the important thing is it, it has to be enclosed by the what? By the rigid body. Are we clear? Okay, that's, that's important. And another method, they're, 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 they're very similar. Method number three. Okay, so method number three. is we have a velocity. So another method that we have in mind is we have over here. This is our velocity A. And then we have another point below. And this is our velocity B. Right? So when we sketch, uh, when we draw a straight line, okay, we draw a straight line. Okay. So from here, as I said, these arrows are vectors from here. We know that uh, VA is positive and VB is what? Negative assuming that we have our transformation running this way. So this is point X, this is point Y, and this is rotation of Z. So when you have velocity vectors going like this, okay, and then when you draw your line, okay, when you draw, you, you draw a line, I'm gonna use uh, orange for this case, it's not the same like before, right? And where the line intersect, the green line that we see, okay, so the, the so this is our point A, and this is our point B, right? The green line where it intersect the orange, this is where our instantaneous center is. So over here, this is the radius of A to your instantaneous center. So it's not so obvious. It's basically this distance over here. And the distance from here to here is our B instantaneous center. Again, everything is enclosed within a rigid body. So another way of doing it very, very similar is now you have a point A. And now your point A is over here. Then you have another point over here, which is your point B. And then point A and point B, these are your respective uh, linear velocity. Uh, vectors. Yeah, I'm just going to draw by hand. So this is your point B. And for this case, uh, not the same length. Okay. This will be equal to your VB or VA. Okay. So again, you need to construct the green line that's 90 degrees to the velocity from the velocity vector. Right. And then you draw your, I'm going to use orange again for this case. You meet the both, the tip end of the velocity vector where intersect the green line. Okay, so over here, this is your intern instantaneous center. Real straightforward stuff. Okay. So we know the distance from here to here is R uh, A I C. And then the next distance to point B is our R B 
IC. Okay. Again, this is enclosed by a rigid body. And based on the velocity vector, we know that omega is rotating this way. For this case, we know that omega.